Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So today we are going to explore Afterlife OS for Redmi Note 8 and I have been using this ROM few days now and it is based on Android 14 and I did review this ROM I think very long time ago and it was not that great back then and even off time also it is not really that great ROM but still let's see what we are getting with this ROM. So first of all we will check Android version and security patch level as I always do. So as you can see here it is running on Android 14 and other version as you can see here it is 7.2 and it is the official version of Afterlife OS for this device and the security patch level is 1st October 2024 this one is the latest version of Afterlife OS maybe this is the last build and they're going to release 15 based ROM because most of the ROMs now they are ending the support for Android 14 based and they are like releasing Android 15 based ROM if you want customization you can go to Afterlabs and tons of customization available and I do really like the way everything looks and I really like the dot here and they looks good and the setting panel as you can see here it is very much like Android 15 based ROM categorized and everything in terms of connectivity everything works no issue I did try sim card and everything everything is working seamless and display section all the functions are available wallpaper and style section we don't really have any ai wallpaper here and as you can see here there is only one built-in wallpaper this one is default wallpaper here and there are a few other customization introduced in android 14 like customizing the clock and other things so those are available here and in terms of battery the battery is doing pretty good but there is no feature at all in terms of controlling the battery but you can check only battery information and the cycle count and other things it, the cycle count and other things are not really reliable i don't believe them but still they are there and you can see the battery percentage that's all even the battery percentage is on you can see it is not showing here maybe we have to turn it on directly from here like customization so we can go to status bar and battery style we can choose like icon and big dotted and we can see a battery percentage inside the icon so now it will show so that's what we are getting and also we can change clock position and other things those are here so pretty much similar to all other android 14 based from in terms of security and privacy we do have face and fingerprint unlock both of them working perfectly fine and fingerprint unlock as you can see it works each and every time and it is really much perfect but there is issue with locking and unlocking the device if you keep your device for some time and if you try to unlock it it will take time i have seen this issue with few other roms many roms solved it on android 15 based rom maybe in future if they release android 15 based rom this problem will be solved and that's all what you are getting nothing much all other things are pretty much similar and if you check the notification panel it is a little different than usual android 14 based rom and i do really like this pattern and it looks good you have music control here and other things here and also we do have brightness section so those are here and it looks good and in terms of application as you can see here there are not a lot of application here but we do have miui camera and which is working here so miui camera is working and if you want gcam you can install it that's also available and google photos we do have unlimited storage so that also available unlimited account here and in terms of safety net so there is no safety net on this ROM so you cannot really use any kind of bank application you can use if you fix it but as for default you cannot use and we don't really have any kind of Google Play protect certification on this ROM go to setting and as you can see here device is not certified so these are few issues with this rom and we do have game space and other things i did install gemini here but we are not getting any kind of gemini feature here like if you press and hold here we are not getting any kind of circle to search or the way infinity x rom used to do like taking screenshot and search for the content of the screenshot so that is also not available on this rom and in terms of gaming the gaming is not really great it is struggling a lot in terms of gaming and also there is issue with gesture so if you play games and if you try to close it you can't really close it it doesn't allow you to close the game it only happen when you are playing games but if you are using other application it doesn't happen and i don't really know why it is happening 
so that is another issue but rather than that the rom is pretty smooth i haven't faced any other issue beside the issues i have mentioned but the rom is pretty stable it is smooth and everything seems to be working fine so no issue with that the rom link will be in the description below if you want to try this rom but i would say don't try this rom because android 15 based rom are much better right now you can use infinity x rom or pixel h rom so these two roms pretty good they are based on android 15 and they will offer you android 15 features and they're pretty smooth in terms of gaming and overall performance so you can try those rom so that's all about afterlife rom for redmi note 8 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one